Yeah, it was a really troublesome time. It was in 1963 when I was in a group of people working on relativity theory. I was sitting in my office and the phone rang, next office, and it rang 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 and and nobody answered. Then the one in the next office rang and rang and rang and rang and rang and rang and nobody answered. Then the one in the next office rang and rang and then it stopped. In Ray Sachs, I could see white as a sheet. He'd come out of his office. And that was because Kennedy had been assassinated. And this had happened even worse to my colleagues who worked at Dallas, Ivor Robinson and, and uh, Wolfgang Rindler, who was writing, I wrote a book with him, but two, two boys. They were going to some pub where, where he was going to speak? Yes. Kennedy was going to speak at a dinner they were present at, and he, did, he was late, so they, and, they, and they sort of joked, oh, somebody has shot him. And it happened to True. Yeah. And it really was a terrible time, particularly after the, what, there was another man, man who evidently fired the shot, was sh- shot himself. And it looked as though anybody, anybody could get shot at that time. What was his name? Lee Harvey Oswald. The group I was in was in Austin, and the other group was in Dallas. And so they got together and drove down to, to, a, to a place down in southern Texas to try and calm down a bit. And then on the trip back, several people wanted to gossip with each other, and I wasn't really interested in the gossip. And so I sat with the one person who sat with Pista Oshvart, who was a Hungarian, who didn't speak much. He didn't, he, he didn't speak much English, but he didn't speak much at all, which to me was a great advantage because I could both go back and take the trip back to Austin, which was on, on the way to Dallas, and I could think through something which I was troubled by. Okay. And that thought 